Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and you know me for a lot of integration with UiPath. You have the connector for Salesforce, ServiceNow, Confluence, Jira and a lot of um, videos that show you how to start the process from, um, from different softwares. Today we'll talk about Salesforce. You know we have this connector for Salesforce and this connector is based on the REST API uh, that uh, Salesforce provide. But a lot of people ask me how to download, if you go to, uh, to Salesforce, go to setup, uh, to set up um, uh, services. If you go here to export data, <clears throat> Salesforce will create backups. Yeah, and you want to download these backups. I studied the documentation and the documentation does not provide commands to access these backups, yeah? So the Salesforce doesn't have REST API to access this, the, this backup backups. So, uh, I never use these backups, but um, I, I use it uh, in the last two days and I understand how it's working. So basically you go here, you say export now, or you say schedule, you configure them, you can put a schedule of the, uh, the, the export and you configure everything that you want to export. And then you receive an email, yeah? And the email will be like this. Yeah, and you can see on the email that the link will be uh, uh, able to receive the report for the next uh, two days, yeah? So, what you can do, you can see here that the email, it's an, um, it's basically my Salesforce system, UI setup export uh, data page D. So this is, this is default, yeah? So you just need to change your Salesforce instance here. So what I will do, to be able to download this in a very nice way, like I said, I don't have a command via REST API, so I'm not able to, to include something here, but I will show you a trick, how you can do this very fast using the normal RPA, yeah? So what I do here, I did, uh, uh, I will stop here a little to make the screen bigger to explain well. So I'm back. I change the resolution and we'll see what we can do. So I receive on the email, it depends on, 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 uh, on your email. Yeah, I have it uh, Google here, but doesn't matter on the email. You need to know your instance, yeah? The format of the link that you will receive on the email will be like this. Your instance UI setup export and so on. So what I do, I go to normal UiPad Studio and I say open browser. And I say my instance, this link. So the system will open this, uh, this browser. I put here a delay of three seconds in my case. You should work also without the delay. And then I want to click this button, but I don't want to execute a click because this is a little unsafe. So I want, I have here the download uh, stuff. So what I will do, I will create a selector and I will get an attribute from this selector, yeah? And this one, I will go with uh, uh, UI Explorer and extract the, the selector. With the UI Explorer, I will extract the selector, but I modify the selector, yeah? So with the UI Explorer, what I did, it was this. Going here on the selector. <clears throat> and I don't take the default values because the default values are, uh, uh, you see, I have a lot of stuff inside and I don't want this stuff. So I modify this selector and let me show you what selector I have now. I modify this selector and on this selector, if I go here on the target, you will see that I have only the tag and I have the download and download. If you are in another language, like that Japanese, German or something like this, be sure that you put the correct uh, way to say download in that language, yeah? So with this selector, the system will go and extract me the href. The href, you will see here, if we go here, uh, I think I don't select it well. Look, href. So href, it's exactly the location of my zip, yeah? So it doesn't matter, I don't need to, to read the, uh, I don't need to read the name of the file or the ID and so on. I just need to read this RHF, yeah? 
Then I take the regf, I put my instance, which is EU31 Salesforce, blah, blah, and the value of href. Be careful, href will not appear on this list. So you have to say brackets, href, brackets, yeah? And you extract the regf. So this will download the file to the, uh, to the hard disk, yeah? I put another delay here for some seconds. Three seconds, and then I'll close the tab. And then I want to move this one because by default, he will download this on download, yeah? In my case, I, ha I have a Google Chrome, so I use the Google Chrome. And this will go to downloads, yeah? So the system will go and download the file there in downloads. And next step, what I do, it's to get from downloads. You can see here, let me make it bigger. You can see here that I go get, get uh, directory files from Cinegulescu, my user downloads. I order this descendantly by date, but time creation and I get the first. So basically in this way, I will know, I will get the latest file that it was downloaded. Yeah? So I don't need to get the name of the file or other stuff. I just need to go to that folder and be sure that I will get the latest uh, uh, the file as a creation, yeah? And then I will move this file to my folder. And my folder for downloads will be this one. CRPA folder download, yeah? So now I will run the robot and this robot, which is very simple, will be very straightforward for downloading this file, yeah? So basically he will open an, um, uh, an uh, application, then the system is downloading the file, you see? And it's no clicks, no, no stuff. And then copy the file in my folder for download. And now I have the zip, yeah? Very easy and very, very safe. And I have here all the CSV files and so on. So because I don't find inside of the REST API a command, especially for the uh, um, for downloading the, the files via REST API, the best way is to do it like this. Do an open browser, use this file, put just your instance here. In my case, it's... Uh, uh, I select the browser to be uh, to be uh, Google Chrome. Yeah, look here on the type of the browser is Google Chrome. You select the type of the browser, put a delay, get the href from that download, change the download if you have another name, you, you are in um, German, Japanese or other languages. Navigate to that folder, he will automatically download the file and then move, get the latest file from that folder, from download. If you are configured on other, on other folder, put your folder here. If uh, your, uh, your Google Chrome it's, or other browser, it's configured to have default in other folder, put, put the folder there. Get the latest file and move the file on your download folder that you want. And this is a very simple, straight way to download um, all the, um, um, all the files that you have on the backup. And try to run the robot, basically, this will do the, let's say that you'll have from three days to three days or each week. So after you, uh, um, uh, he's, done, he's dying the, uh, doing the, um, the backup, you just run the second day uh, the robot one time and that's it, yeah? And you receive this email, but like I said, you just run the robot without reading the email and other stuff because uh, it's straight through with, uh, with these links. So um, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell me what else you want to see on my YouTube videos. And as usual, uh, stay safe, have a good one and bye-bye.